Oh my god, you died getting a dad. How do you die keep doing that? Like, do you have a mad battle or something? How do you keep showing up whenever I'm down? But then you're here. Let me share you a little bit about um, weekly football. But before we get started, remember to hit the subscribe button down below. Turn it from red to gray. Turn that bell notification on so you can be notified when I post. Give this video a big thumb up right now. Give it a big thumb up right now. And um, leave a comment on who do you think is going to win the Tower of the Fall Championship. This year, in January, who do you think will win? Leave a comment below. And, um, leave a comment of how your week went. Um, mine was alright. I wish I did a little more fun, but, um, the hard enough week, so let's do that. So, um, let's get the, the, onto the video. Let's get onto the next episode of Prediction with Adventure of Tommy Talk for Fall for Saturday, November 3rd. Um, and also, let me just, just give you a shout out. Let me tell you um, how did I like last week's prediction? There was a special death on it. Do you like the special death? Should there be more special death on it? What do you think? I can bring more to brush it back on if you want. Um, let me die. So, uh, let's get back to the topic of who's gonna win and who's gonna lose in, uh, this weekend. First weekend in November, who do you think will win? So, uh, starting out, the first name is Pitt vs. UBA. Um, this is a clear answer on who might be winning. Um, but maybe not, because it's going to be a slow thing. I think UBA is going to be Pitt. Just because Pitt is... Mm, I can't say Pitt is a good team, and I can't say Pitt is a bad team. Um, but they're average. I think UBA defense is a little bit better. Just a tad, though, my pick is UBA. The next game in my game. This is my game, my team. Uh, I back to I know by now who's my team. Um, it's Alabama versus LSU. This is gonna be the best game yet. This whole entire week, LSU been talking shit about. They're gonna practice and come out on. Saturday to beat Alabama to make them that their first law. I don't see that happening because we'll tie two up, two up, two up. Um, all right, the next game is Texas A&M and Auburn. Ooh, this is gonna be a good fight. This is gonna be a good game, good fight. Maybe even a good fight to the end. But um, if I had to pick the winner, um, I wanted to go with Auburn by maybe a point. I'm going to take Auburn by a point. Because they're playing Texas A&M, and Texas A&M have been playing pretty damn good football for the past half of a week. But don't have Auburn. So I'm going to say Auburn's going to get Find a way to win at the very last second. 
nothing. Read on. Iowa State and Tangent. Ooh. You know? I picked Iowa State to win two weeks ago and they won. Um, Tangent? Didn't they do so good? So, if I had to pick a winner here, um, and if I had to say, predict somebody to take the W at the end of the game in the fourth quarter, I would say Iowa State is gonna win. Just by how they play and how I've been watching and the highlight and whatever, I think Iowa State got this in the book. The next one is Louisville with Clemson. This is another good matchup, just like Alabama and LSU. But if I had it today, Clemson is going to win Louisville. But this game could be a close game. Even though Clemson is undefeated, this game could be a close game because they're both a good team. The next one is, if you're from New York, this is in your backyard. This is Dale Shoe but wait for it. I hate to say it, Dale Shoe. I'm gonna tell you that you're not gonna win this game. I'm gonna go with Wake Forest because Wake Forest last week had an incredible game. I think they're gonna win. So, Wake Forest is gonna take the W this week against Dale Shoe. The next game is Nebraska and Ohio State. Wow, if anybody watched last week, like you gotta be kidding me, Ohio State lost. How did Ohio State lost? I don't even know. They lost to Purdue. Purdue. I don't know, Purdue is good, but Ohio State is one of the top five teams. And they lost, they didn't win. And this week they're playing the Nebraska. Hmm. I hate to say it, I'm thinking this is going to be a close game and Ohio State is just barely going to win. Barely. I'm going to pick Ohio State, but they're barely going to win. The next game is Georgia vs. Tatati. Alright, uh, right here you all know this game could be down to the wild. This thing to be down to the wire, guys. If you want to watch a game Saturday afternoon, watch Georgia book the top day. But if I had to pick a winner, I might have to get go with Georgia. Because Georgia always find a way to come out on top. By a little bit, by a lot, by a blowout, you know. They always know how to play. Especially on defense. The next game is Iowa and Purdue. Let me tell you, Purdue beat Ohio State. Um, Iowa is a little bit better than Purdue, but Purdue beat Ohio State. So you know what? I'm calling up that here. I'm going to talk Purdue to did another W against a good team, Iowa. So they beat Ohio State a couple weeks last week. I'm going to say that there's enough beat Iowa this week. So Purdue does take the W. Next game is FFU and North Carolina State. I think this is an easy game right here. Um, this is maybe a game to find out an undefined team to win. Um, I'm gonna say this uh, comes down to another while. Um, North Carolina State been playing good, but they have not been playing good than the top team or teams that are hot, higher weight than them. They've been doing good with the low team. Uh, this team, uh, they're both average. They're in the middle of the path. So, I'm definitely we're going to have a ball game. We're going to have a ball game between North Carolina State and FSU. Um, but if I had a big winner, I might have to get though with FSU to win this all. Next game, we got West Virginia and Texas. Um, I don't know who to pick as a winner, but if I had to pick one, 
I'm not saying West Virginia is going to come on top um, over Texas. Not by a lot, just by a little. They're going to come out with a W by a little. The next game is Penn State and Michigan. Oh, John, we all think we know who's going to win. Penn State thinks the defense is pretty good, but I have to say, I have to give Michigan the W here. Michigan going to take home the W, and they're going to add another W to the win column. Michigan going to win. Next game is Virginia Tech and Boston College. Oh, this is a tough one. Um, but if I had to pick a winner, I'm going to say Boston College is going to win over Virginia Tech. The next one is Missouri vs. Florida. And if I had to say this, I'm going to probably pick Florida over Missouri because Florida is one of those teams that is good at football. Florida's football team are good. Um, not against a good team, but this team, they're not, they are average team, so they're not the best, they're not the worst, they're average. So I think Florida's going to take the W this week. The next one is Arizona State and Utah. You know who I'm going to pick? I'm going to pick Utah over Arizona State. It's a Utah defense. It's going to come back out like they've been playing. Uh, the next one is going to be Notre Dame, a male team in college football, and Northern West Um This team, I honestly already have a prediction who's going to win, and it's Notre Dame. Notre Dame's going to win this week by far. Um, if they don't, that just means that North West Noon have been practicing all week long for this and finding a way to get to Notre Dame quarterback and through the offensive line. But at a right now, I think Notre Dame got this. They're on the fifth Notre Dame. Alright, the next one is LA Tech and Mississippi State. So, this one, I'm going to ask me though with LA Tech to win, but I do want to see a float game out of this. So, I feel like this is going to be a float dirty. This is going to be a dirty game. This is just going to be a good game. A great game, a great game to watch, an entertaining game to watch, but I think LA Tech is going to win. The next game we got is Oklahoma for Texas Tech. Alright. I know who I'm going to be picking. Um, just by how they've been playing, how their defense been doing, everything that we, who else we, they had them up and down. They are not perfect. Nobody's perfect, but I think I'm going to pick Oklahoma for this week to win Texas Tech. Alright, the next one is Fundo State and UNLV, University of Las Vegas. Ooh, um, I hate to say it, but Fundo State is going to win Las Vegas. Um, Las Vegas is not the greatest football team. Um, they're, they're average, they're not horrible, but they're not perfect. So, yeah. Next one is Tao and Washington State. Um, you know, I think I'm gonna go with my top two, one of my top two forever potential forever home, and I'm gonna say California is gonna win Washington State. So, just watch. And the last one is Temple vs. UCF. Um. My pick in this game is going to be Temple, because Temple defense is just untouchable. They, t they can win average team. They can win horrible team. They quarter than the great team, but they can still make it a ball game. But their defense is the reason why they win. The Temple is going to win. So, Temple is going to win. 
Alright, so I hope you enjoy the first weekend of November college football position. And comment below if you disagree with my pick, if you agree with my pick, and let's see. Comment below what game are you going to be watching for sure, without a doubt. What game are you going to tune into on Saturday to watch? Obviously, I'm going to be tuning into Alabama, but I want to know what you guys are going to tune into. I might tune into a couple other ones, like Notre Dame, but Alabama is my number one that I'm going to be paying attention to. So, let me know what you're in, and I will see you in the next episode of Tyler Football Position next week. So, just remember to enjoy the little things in life, live life to the fullest, and don't take life for granted. So, with that being said, go out there tomorrow and do something good. Do something positive. Get up out of bed, walk for fall, go, I don't know, go out with friends, don't have fun, but go do something fun. Don't just be home and be boring. Go do something. Pretend tomorrow is your last day on earth. Just pretend. Don't have to do it, but just pretend. Just go out and have fun. Don't be stuck in your house. Don't find something to do. Alright, with that being said, we will see you with the Tyler Football Position with Adventure with Tommy next week. But until then, stay tuned to my channel because the Probably time to turn out this weekend too, so you don't want to miss. So make sure you hit that bell notification and hit that subscribe button. We will see you die in the next video. See you die later. See you die later, people. Oh, <laughs> oh,